Hi everyone! Welcome back to the CaseGuard Studio training course. In this video, we will cover two of the video editing tools in CaseGuard, cutting video and dropping segments. Cut video is great if you have a long video and you're only interested in keeping a specific part of it. A lot of times, you might be recording a one-hour video, but the main event happens in a 10-minute period, and you only want to keep those 10 minutes. You can do that with just a couple of clicks using CaseGuard Studio. First, I need to create a project. I'm going to name my project Video Editing Tools. I'm going to add the video that I want to cut into my project. Please remember that cutting video in CaseGuard Studio indicates the part of the video that you want to keep. The video popped up under our Project Files panel. On the left-hand side of your workspace, click on the Cut Media button, represented by scissors. This will open up the Cut Media panel at the bottom of your workspace. You can only make one cut to your video, as it's the part that you want to keep. An easy way to remember this is that cut and keep both start with the same sound. Now, you can see that this video is almost 12 minutes long, and I only want to keep about a minute and 30 seconds of the video. You can do this in a few different ways. If you have the time points, you can simply input them in the start and end time fields. The second way that you can cut video in CaseGuard Studio is to play the video and select Capture Start Time and Capture End Time, and then click the Cut Segment button to confirm. Let me show you. Start. End. Click Cut Segment to confirm. You can see that it popped up in our task list. I'm going to delete it so I can show you the other ways that you can also cut your media. Similarly, as the capture start and end time, you can also press and hold. Let me show you. I'm pressing and I'm holding this button down with my mouse. Clicking Cut Segment to confirm. You can see that I caught about six seconds here. Again, I'm going to delete it to show you the final way that you can cut your media. Click on the Show Hide Audio Wave button to open up the audio wave. This is the final method we will use to cut our video. Highlight the part of the audio wave which corresponds to the part of the video that you want to keep. Click Cut Segment to confirm. Once you've selected your cut, go over to the task list. Click Save. It's very important to only have cut media in your task list to perform this function properly. Click Export. Our cut video popped up under our Project Files panel. You can see that the video is about 1 minute and 30 seconds long instead of 12 minutes. Let's play it to make sure we cut it right. It looks great. Let me fast forward to the end to make sure that I captured everything that I needed. You can now use this video to run automatic detection and apply your redactions. Now, let's move on to drop segments. I'm going back to my original video. I'm going to delete the cut from my task list. Click on the Drop Segments button, represented as a knife, on the left-hand side of your toolbar. This will open up the Drop Segments panel at the bottom of your workspace. Drop Segments is a feature in CaseGuard Studio that allows you to remove segments from your video or to delete. An easy way to remember this is that Drop and Delete both start with the same letter. You can drop multiple segments within this feature. I'm going to use the methods I showed you in the Cut video to drop multiple segments from this video. First, I'm going to click the Capture Start and Capture End Time. Start, and I know that I don't want the first two minutes, so I'm going to go all the way up here and capture end time, click Drop Segment. Now, I'm going to use the Press and Hold feature. I'm pressing Now, and I'm holding this button down with my mouse. Now I'm going to Release and click Drop Segment to confirm. Next. I'm going to input my start and end times. I know that I don't want anything from minute three to minute five. Click Drop Segment to confirm. 
I also want to delete everything from minute 7 to minute 11. So I'm going to highlight the audio wave bar and click Drop Segment to confirm. Once you've dropped the segments that you like, go over to your task list. Drop segments should be the only thing in your task list to perform this function properly. Click Save and click Export. The video popped up under our Project Files panel. I'm going to play the video so you can see the difference. And that's where we drop the first segment. Remember that this does not include the parts of the video that we chose to delete. That's where we drop the second one. You can see that this video is only about two and a half minutes rather than 12 minutes. To review, cutting video is used for the part that you want to keep. Dropping segments is used for the parts of the video that you want to delete. Please remember, it's very important to only have cut video or drop segments in your task list. Save and export. Once you've exported your video, you are ready to perform your redactions. That's all I have for you in this video. In the next video, I will cover CaseGuard's more advanced features. See you there.